Hey guys, I'm Tyra Kopstock and welcome to my channel. I represent Frontline Academy and I'm a student under Eduardo Teta Rios. I'm a full-time Jiu-Jitsu athlete and instructor and I created this page to share my techniques, training and Jiu-Jitsu journey with you. Feel free to like and subscribe and welcome to the family. Os. Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Intermediate Course and today we're going to go through a very specific move, the bow and arrow choke from the back mount. So today we're going to go through some of the details on how I like to set it up and a little bit of a sneaky way to do it as well. Uh, of course, there's a lot of variations to this technique, so that's uh, a topic that we can talk about as well. So here, Brad, nice and easy, starting in the back mount here and of course, uh, if you haven't checked out the beginner's course, we talked a little bit about how the position works and how it's important to keep my hooks here and all of that, right? And then if you feel ready for this, you can come and watch this as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look for the lapel by opening it up and I'm gonna grab and go for a good grip here, right? This is always my go-to, especially like it can, you can get the nice and easy choke here. But a lot of the times people are gonna be grabbing your arms it's gonna be hard to just choke from this position. So you're gonna to have to think about going a little bit further, okay? So it's kind of like the next step of the choke we did earlier this week. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna step on his hip with my left foot. I'm gonna bring my right foot across his hips here, okay? So this little footwork is quite nice and easy to set up the position that we're going for. So I'm stepping, I'm crossing my leg over, okay? While I'm doing this, I'm also making sure my elbow is tight to his back, okay? So I don't want his head to slip out, right? Then I lost it. I lost the position and most likely I lost the back mount as well. So I want to make sure that my elbow is glued to his back here. So if he tries to slip his head, it's really hard to do so, okay? Here's where a lot of variations come in. I was learned properly the first time I did it to grab the leg. This does give you quite a bit of control. And this is kind of the classic bow and arrow choke that you wanna do, right? So you grab the pants here and you keep choking with this hand here, okay? So you're gonna go, stretch, and there you have the choke, okay? We're gonna do it a little bit from a different angle so you guys can see where, you can see where he is the bow and my leg is the arrow in a kind of sense, right? So I'm really pulling here. I'm not gonna pull too tight on Christian here. I'm gonna make sure that my wrist is not bent too much. So I wanna really flex it and keep it tight here. And then I'm basically stretching out into this position, okay? There's a lot of variations where, of course, I can choose to go here instead, or I can choose to bring my knee behind his head here to get it even tighter because then I can push with my knee and pull with my arm. So depending on your preference of course as well but you have to see what you need for the occasion I guess. So here step through grab and we have the choke. If this is not enough let's say I was grabbing really loose for some reason. <laughs> so I was stepping here then you can, of course, come here as well. This is going to be pretty tight if you have the knee behind his head, pushing and then pulling with the lapel here, okay? This does help a lot to prevent Christian from turning the, away or getting out. Imagine this control here, because if I don't have this, yes, he's going to be able to turn to the other side, maybe even slip his head under my elbow. So... This control, if you can, I really prefer grabbing the pass. If not, this is good as well. You can get some nice strokes from here, okay? Of course, you can also climb up, maybe even set up some triangles and so on, okay? And there, basically, we went a little bit off the script, but don't think about that. Think about all the opportunities and things that you can do from there. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did, hope you. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, please like and subscribe. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Intermediate Course. And today we're going to go through a very nice straight jacket setup from the back mount. 
into the rear neck choke and a couple of variations as we go. So uh, this is a technique actually that I, I have seen it before, but uh, the one who really inspired me to start doing it was Fionn Davis and she made it look really easy and she, she just told me the couple of details that she used to do and that was kind of like what put the puzzle together for me. So in this scenario, we're gonna be setting up from where we're on the wrong side of the back mount here, basically, okay? Or well, the wrong side means that I'm having the seat belt here on the opposite uh, side here of what I would want to have, right? So a lot of the times we're gonna have this difficulty where his arms is gonna be in the way and it's difficult for me to go straight for the choke. And that's just something we have to deal with. So what I'm looking for now is to grab his wrist here with my opposite hand and if I can I grab the this wrist with my top hand okay so this is kind of what looks like a straight jacket right you know how you've seen probably some of the movies or maybe you've been to one I don't know so you can grab here grab here and what I'm looking to do here is to create a little pocket inside his arm here okay so I'm basically trying to open his arm by pushing up and I'm gonna use my heel here on the top to hook and then slide his arm back until I can get my foot behind him. Okay, so we're just gonna change the angle here a little bit so you guys can see it. So grabbing here, so I have my hook in between his legs first, but I'm pushing up, getting my foot inside, and there we go. Okay, so once this is hooked behind his back here, watch this is good, but this is better. Okay, this is a very nice detail here. So if I can put my the, the blade of my foot behind his back here, now it's gonna be really hard for Christian to get this arm back, okay? So turning back again. So once we've gotten to this position here where I managed to push it up, hook it, and put it behind his back, that's when I will want to switch from this hand gripping his, his free arm to the other one, okay? So now I'm grabbing the pinky, like I've told you guys before on the beginner's course. This is a very nice grip that I like to go for. It's very hard for him to break it. So if he tries to break this grip now, I can still control it pretty good, okay? So no arm to defend. One is controlled by my leg, one is controlled by my arm. Now I can freely look to go for the choke. Of course, there is gonna be his neck, his chin, he's going to be defending in, in, in some creative way. Sometimes you end up going right through the mouth and you, want, you might have to like dig in. So there's a couple ways to do it. I like to go and push the face and then kind of like hook underneath. That could be enough. Sometimes they, could be, they can be a little bit more, uh, how should I say, uh, yeah. They want, really want to keep that neck there or chin. You can, of course, go straight on top of it. It's a little bit douchey, but sometimes that's just how you have to teach the guys. You can go for this kind of narrow uh, in kind of fist here where you go in, you kind of like slide the fingers through. Okay, so that's good enough as well. Once you've established this grip, there are several ways we can start to go for the choke. Now, I'm just going to sit up so you guys can see this. Now, a very nice one that I like to go for is kind of like a Marcelo choke here. So I'm going to grab palm to palm. Turn here. Wow. So grab palm to palm and I'm going to push with my elbow behind his back here. So coming from this position here, I'm going to slide out and come in here. Okay. The thing is that my elbow is now pushing his back and making sure that we're closing the space here. So just having this can be a really nice choke. Of course, if I want to go further, I'm going to slide in and set up the rear naked choke, okay? Very nice and easy. You can still do it from this position on the side. So going from the straight jacket here, boom, I hooked his arm, got it behind his back. I switched for the pinky grip. I go in for the choke. Maybe he's defending, making it hard for me. I'm gonna go in with a fist now here. Boom, nice and easy. I can switch for the uh, Marcelo Garcia version or slide my arm in. And there we go. We have the rare naked choke like we did on the beginner's course. So 
The straight jacket is a very nice way of peeling away uh, the person's defense, right? At that point, usually people are more focused on not getting tapped than uh, losing or actually defending the position itself. So uh, what I, from my experience, um, a lot of people will defend until the points are taken, okay? So if the referee has given the points for the back take, they are more likely to defend the choke than to actually try to get out of the position. And so then it becomes a lot difficult to actually go for the choke. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Wuss.